once you log into Geometrics, you're going to need to enter in your access code. Your access code has been pre-assigned to you. So you're going to enter your access code and click Redeem. We're using Adobe Creative Cloud, so we're going to do Adobe Creative Cloud 2018, 2019, 2020. Right now we're learning InDesign. The other two items we're going to learn in class will be Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop. So we're going to click InDesign. Um, the ones up here, those are the ones that were pre-made by the course. Um, instead, we're going to work on the ones that I've designed. Um, the first one is going to be Work Design Industry Training, or you could do Work Design Industry Test. Um, they have the same number of questions. The only difference is on the test, you cannot use the Help button. Okay, so we're going to do Training. Um, some of the training questions may be multiple choice. You can skip some, you can mark some for review. And maybe this one, I'm going to skip the first two. Um, during the process of interacting with your client, which deliverables would you need to work with? Um, maybe you would want to make sure you keep up with your due date. And maybe you want to make sure that you keep up with the specifications, kind of exactly what they wanted. Okay. Oops, I got that wrong, and if I get it wrong, it's going to explain it down here. Um, I can go back, and then I can redo this one. Um, if it's a little bit hard for you to see with the font, you can click the A's there, okay, and it will make that a little bit easier for you to do. Um, so you can mark it for review. Um, you can skip it. Um, which of the following does not accurately describe a target maker? So again, you can click here. Um, so your target market, um, that's going to be who you're trying to do this for. Okay, wrong. Okay, so that's going to be the people most likely to buy your product. So if you get it wrong, I would go read the correct answer, go back, and then try it again. Okay. And then when you do your test, it's going to be the exact same questions. The only difference is you can't use the help button. So if you get really stuck, use the little help button. Um, but always try it on your own first.